Hello everyone. Myself Miss Sadia, your English teacher. In this video we will be covering the topics such as the importance of English language, the content of the textbook and reduced syllabus for the year 2020. Dear students, on behalf of Asadullah Khan English High School and Junior College, I extend a warm welcome to you all. I thank you all for choosing Asadullah Khan English High School and Junior College, a renowned name in the field of education. Now, students, you all are the part of our institution and it's our responsibility for our children's success. And inshallah, we will do our best to carry out our responsibilities. Now, the purpose of our institution is just not limited to mere attainment of knowledge, but the real purpose is to prepare our children to succeed in the modern world. We wish to see our children as creative problem solvers and to be the leaders of new thinking. For this, we have a dedicated team of teachers. As we all know that we are going through very very challenging times these days. Parents working from home, children studying from home and teachers taking online sessions. Well, you all might be very eager to see your new college. But let me tell you children, we also really want our children to come to college premises and attend the regular lectures. However, keeping the current situation in mind, we all are hoping that we all can come out from this situation as soon as possible. Dear children, this is a new phase in your life, a new beginning. You certainly must have studied hard for the last 10 to 12 years and these next two years are most important to you all. These two years will set the platform for your academics and indeed your career. But you know what? The secret of success is patience, perseverance and belief in yourself. Now let us come towards our main motive that is importance of English language in the vision and mission of your life. English will definitely be playing a significant role. So let's see what is language. First of all, language is the system of human communication either spoken or written, consisting the use of words in a structured and conventional way. That is, language helps you all to communicate your feelings, emotions, your knowledge and your wisdom. You can share your views and ideas and thoughts through language. Let's see why learning English is important. In this age of globalization, we need to communicate not only with our fellow beings, neighborhood, but also with many people around the globe. So, English has been playing an important role in our daily life and so it is a global language. It is an international language. It is spoken in more than 100 countries. English is also very important in workplaces like your businesses, etc. The ability to use English in the workplace has number of benefits, including helping your company to succeed, building the trust with the colleagues and clients, and enhancing your skill set and commanding a higher salary. As everybody knows, most of the world's commercial entertainment is in English. English is also the language of Hollywood. Yes, English is also very beneficial when you travel around the globe. In most countries, English is the language most spoken even though it is not the native one. In fact, you can travel around the world and socialize with people everywhere if you can speak English. English is also essential to the field of education. In many countries, children are taught and encouraged to learn English as a second language, even in countries where it is not an official language. English is the language for research in any field, be it a student life or for business. It is essential to re learn, read, speak and write in English. As you all know, 
that the majority of the websites are written and created in English on the internet. So English is very important for internet and press. Now let us know about our textbook that is English Yuvak Bharti. The main goal of our textbook is to develop the listening, reading, writing and speaking skills of our children. In this slide you will see the weightage scheme for standard 11th and 12th. The sections are given and the weightage scheme is given. Reading skills 40%, grammar 50%. Writing skills 25% and oral test 20%. Now we will see the marking scheme for oral test. Listening 6 marks, reading 4 marks, speaking 5 marks and conversation 5 marks. This comes to total 20 marks. Now let's see the contents of the textbook. Our English textbook has 4 sections. Section 1 is prose which has 6 lessons. Section 2 is Poetry section which has 6 poems. Section 3 is Writing skills that is 6 writing skills are given. Section 4 is the study of genre drama that is 3 chapters are given here. Now let's see the total number of chapters given in section 1 that is prose section. The first one is Being neighborly, second on to the summit we reach the top, third the call of the soil, fourth pillars of democracy, fifth Mrs. Adis, sixth one is Tiger Hills. Amongst all these six chapters, we will see in the next slide the reduced syllabus for the year 2020. So children, the chapter which is reduced for this year is chapter number 1 that is Being Neighborly by Louisa May Alcott. The very important thing which you have to remember students is the entire text and comprehension activities are omitted but the writing skills and the language study and vocabulary part is not omitted. So you have to study for that. Now let's begin with section 2 that is poetry section. The first chapter here is Cherry Tree, second is The Sower, Third is there is another sky. The fourth one is upon Westminster Bridge. The fifth is nose versus eyes. And the sixth one is the planners. Amongst all the six poems, the poem which is deleted for this year is the sixth poem that is the planners. However, the entire text and comprehension activities are omitted. But the writing skills activities will be for self-study and for examination. Now we will know about our section 3 that is writing skills. The first chapter here is expansion of ideas which you are uh, very familiar with. The second topic here is blog writing that is how to write the blogs on the internet. The third chapter here is email that is you will be learning here how to write the emails. The fourth chapter is interview writing. This is also a very familiar topic for you all. The fifth chapter here is film review, wherein you will have to write the review of the films or the movies. The sixth chapter here is the art of comparing. The comparing means the hosting or anchoring. So you are going to learn how to host and compare. Now we'll go towards section 4 that is genre drama. Now children this is a very new concept for you all which is related to the literature that is English literature. This section has three chapters. The first one is history of English drama where you are going to study all the name of the authors and the name of the dramas written by English literature dramatist or play writers. The second topic is The Rising of the Moon by Lady Gregory. The third topic is Extracts of Drama which has two parts that is first one is A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare and the next part is An Enemy of the People by Henrik Johan Ibsen. 
Now children, a very important note for you all that is there will be no passage given in the examination for section 4 that is drama chapters. I hope this lecture is clear to you all. Thank you and stay safe. For further updates of Dr. Asadullah Khan English High School and Junior College, don't forget to press the bell icon.